Hey everybody, this is Chad from Six Blog. So about a week ago I did a video and talked about the gear that I plan on carrying with me on the JMT, um, which is actually less than a week from now is when I leave out. Um, there was one piece of gear in that video that I talked about that I'll be changing out and I just want to do a video today and talk about that because it showed up today. And as you can tell from the title of the video, that is a uh, down jacket. So originally, um, this is the down jacket I planned on carrying with me, and technically it's not a jacket, it's an anorak, it's a pullover. Uh, ben from Goose Feet Gear made this for me about two years ago or so, and uh, I've absolutely loved this jacket. It's lightweight, uh, it's actually got four ounces of down in it, so it's very warm. Um, it's only 7.7 .7 ounces, so like I said, it's very lightweight, especially when you consider over half of that weight comes from actual downfill. And you know it has the features that I want on it. It's comfortable. I really enjoyed it. It worked out well for me. And that is what I was actually going to bring with me this year on the JMT. However, a couple of months ago I was talking with Ben from Goose Feet Gear and he was talking about some new material that he was getting in. And he asked me if I'd be interested in him making a jacket for me to try out on the JMT just so I can kind of give him some feedback on how the material handled, you know, being used. So I said, sure, um, I'd love it. So he worked on it, he ended up getting it to me. Like I said, I got it today. Today is Saturday the 23rd. And uh, like I said, I'm leaving in technically less than a week now. Um, so he got it to me just in time, enough time to kind of play with it, do a little video, and kind of show everybody what I've got here. So this is the jacket that I have here that he sent me. Now, like I said, this new material he's using is an 8D material. I can't remember the exact uh, weight per square yard. Um, I'm not even sure that I, I heard him say what it is, but it's an 8D material, so I imagine it's pretty lightweight. But I do have to say that compared to the 10D that my anorak was made from, there are some noticeable differences. First off, I will say the 10D is more, the hand on it is a little nicer than the 8D. But now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this is uncomfortable. I'm just saying that this is like silk or satin. It's really soft, really nice. Uh, whereas this has somewhat of a plasticky feel, but not that stiff plastic like I've, you know, found on some of my older Montbell jackets and stuff like that. This is actually somewhat of a softer material, but still kind of has some of that plasticky feel to it. Um, now, I will say that I think that that's nice for two reasons. Um, being that it is somewhat plasticky and not kind of silky, I feel like this is probably going to do really well at being downproof. Now, I haven't had a whole lot of problems with this leaking down, um, but I have had some down leakage, particularly from the seams on this particular material. Um, not enough that I'm actually concerned about it. And um, when I was talking with Ben about this, I actually have a video on it. Um, he said that he hasn't really had a whole lot of complaints about it. So we just kind of wondered if maybe this was like the end of a roll or something, the, the black material that he used. Um, regardless, um, the green on the inside is the same 10D material, and I haven't had any issues with down leaking from that. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but still, it wasn't hardly anything to be concerned about. Actually, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there's like just a little bitty piece of down kind of coming out around the zipper. Um, but anyway, there was a little bit of down leakage with this. Um, not, I've had some jackets that leaked a lot worse down. But with this, when I pulled it out of the box, that was one of the first things I looked for. And I don't see any down leaking anywhere from either the material or the seams. And of course, the seams are typically a more common place for down to leak from. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen. This is brand new. It was, you know, lightly shoved in a box. Uh, maybe after a couple of nights sleeping in it or sleeping with it in my sleeping bag or something like that. Or wearing it under my pack, I may see some different results. But based on the fact that this is somewhat of a plasticky material, um, I feel like it's probably going to do a little better at holding the down end than this. Um, besides that, being that it is a little more plasticky feeling, I feel like it's probably going to uh, resist water just a little better than that will. Um, and that might be an issue because, you know, if I get up out of my tent or I do put my jacket on and go out and start hiking um, and, you know, we get a little mist or something like that, that might be an issue. Of course, if there's much water in the air, this will not stay on. This will be back in my pack but I do feel like it may handle water just a little better. Now I will say, talking about getting wet, uh, he did use um, three and a half ounces of the 950 feel down tech down. Uh, the down tech is the down treated, the water resistant down. So that is, that is nice knowing that even if uh, it does get a little bit wet, the down should handle uh, that moisture reasonably well. Uh, maybe better than some of the other 
non-treat it down. And just for the record, this does have the uh, treat it down in it as well. Um, but anyway, so I gotta say, ever since I received this jacket here, I have been a huge fan of the Goose Feet gear down item. Technically, when I bought these down pants about five or six years ago, I was a big fan. Not to mention the socks and the pillows that I bought from him as well. Um, ben makes an awesome product. He does really good work with his construction. He does use good quality materials and he's easy to talk to. Um, and so far, everything that he sent me has been spot on as far as you know what I expected. Um, he does have, when it comes to making a, a custom piece of uh, equipment or clothing, he does have specific measurements he requests that you give him. And uh, of course, I gave him my specific measurements uh, for all these items here. Now, I do want to say that one thing that is nice about that is typically in the past, um, I would have to get an extra large in order to have enough sleeve length that I like personally. But what happened is I would have a big, a lot of extra room in the chest and stuff like that. Um, so what's nice about that is now I can give him my, ex my exact measurements for my chest, but I can also add a couple of inches to the sleeve length and give him measurements so that when I put my jacket on, my sleeves actually come into the, my fingertips, not riding up my wrist, so that's awesome. Uh, not to mention, I gave him a little extra length so that the hem would come down and drop down just a little bit below my waist, more so than some of my other jackets did. So besides the fact that you can give him custom measurements, you can choose the materials that you want. Uh, like I said, this is 8D. I don't think he has this available yet, but he also has a lot of 10D and 20D material uh, in a lot of different colors that you can choose from. And you know, if you want, you can do the same as I have. Uh, this is gray on the inside, blue on the outside. Whatever colors he has, you can do it in whatever, com whatever combination that you want. Um, besides that though, you can also pick the amount of down that you want. Like I said, I have three and a half ounces of down in this, four ounces in this. I could have put more if I wanted. Uh, if I wanted to add a, a whole bunch of down, I could have even got box baffles rather than sewn through baffles. That's something else he'll do. Um, so of course the down, the custom measurements, the materials, and last but not least is of course features. Um, I chose, I've, I've gotten to where I prefer to have a hood on my jacket rather. I do have a separate hood uh, beanie, but I still like to have a hood on my jacket. So that was one thing I had. And of course I do have a front to back um, adjustable adjustability as well as I can adjust around my face. Um, besides that, this is a full, full uh, zip, full length zip jacket and it does have the typical hand warmer pockets. As well, it does have a hem cinch around the, the waist. So anyway, I've done a lot of talking, so let me just show you how this thing fits. And I'm going to say it's hot in here. And it's going to be hotter now that I've got this jacket on. So of course, just wearing it, unzipped and everything, definitely it's comfortable, it's, it's fluffy, it feels great, the pockets are great. Um, I mean, it's it's really nice. Uh, as far as the zipper, like I said, full length. This looks like it may be a number three YKK zipper. Um, I'm sure that if you wanted something heavier duty, you could put that on, um, but I like the number three. Uh, it zips fine, doesn't snag on anything. I don't have any kind of a guard or anything behind it, but it does just fine. And then, like I said, my sleeves. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. But my hands, my arms are stretched all the way out and you can see just my fingers. And it's like that on both sides. And that's what I like. I like that extra length. You know, it's just a little bit more puffiness if I pull it up, which is fine because it provides a little extra warmth. But if I also need to pull my sleeves down, um, I'm not, it's not pulling under my arms or around my shoulders or anything. Um, and it covers my hands well, so I like that. And then of course, like I said, it does have a hood on it. Zipper goes all the way up to my chin, and it, like I said, it's got the adjustment so I can do around the face and front to back. So anyway, uh, this is, like I said, the Goose Feet Gear down jacket. You can get these whatever color, size, features, down feel that you want. Um, this one particularly weighs in at 7.6 ounces, so it's actually 0.1 ounces lighter than my Anorak. And uh, I gotta say, initially, I'm really excited about this thing. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting out there and using it and seeing what it's all about and how it does out in the field. Um, one other thing I want to point out 
and it was kind of a surprise. I did not know that he was sending, I knew he was sending me a jacket, but I did not realize that he was also sending me another pair of pants. Like I said, I bought these about five or six years ago. They've been great, they're warm. There's actually more down in these than there is in this. Uh, and this is actually built from the old Noble material, if anybody recalls that material. Um, but this is built from the same 8D material that he used on the jacket. And he just used the blue on the inside and the outside. Um, this has two and a half ounces of 950 uh, down tech down in it. And of course, built to my specifications and it comes in at 5.2 ounces. So not bad there. Now I will say that I will not be bringing these down pants with me on the JMT. I, I'm pretty sure they, those will be complete overkill, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting out and using all this stuff um, this winter uh, and getting out there in some colder hikes and actually using my down pants. And uh, of course I'm gonna use this for three weeks on the JMT and uh, I definitely look forward to using it some more. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments or questions, just post them below. And also, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to get in touch with Ben at Goose Feet Gear. Um, like I said, he's a great guy. He's very friendly. He likes to, uh, you know, he, he wants to hook people up with some good quality gear. And so far, everything that I've seen, whether it's mine or somebody else's, has been very nice. I've been very happy uh, with the, uh, the products that he sent out. So anyway, be sure to check them out, and uh, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you soon on the JMT. Thanks.